Well, today's the day we're heading on up to Acadia National Park. I spent the day here in, uh, yesterday in Belfast at 6.30 in the morning, and uh, we're ready to go. And uh, it is about time to hit the road. We've got about a one-hour drive to make it to the Visitor Center, which I'll get there about an hour before they open. So, I don't know. We'll uh, get a chance to look around at some things before we get there. I've wanted to visit Acadia for a long time. I finally get the chance to come up here and it's perfect weather. It's very cool, it's not overly warm, and overall it's just this wonderful, wonderful day. Very few clouds up in the sky and it's a Monday, meaning the park is not all that crowded. I mean, sure, there's a number of people here, but it's not really all that bad. But uh, overall, I just wanted to get a chance to get down here, explore Acadia, see the ocean, and uh, just kind of see the beautiful rock cliffs that uh, Maine is known for. So sit back and enjoy the trip to Acadia, hopefully as much as I did. I've made it down to Acadia National Park. Right now we're standing on one of the few cold water sand beaches probably in the world. Um, it's extraordinarily rare for sand to appear on cold water beaches like this, uh, but nevertheless it has. Um, and so this spot here actually can be drawn away pretty quickly. Now where we're standing right here is where the high tide came in, so we're in low tide. You can kind of tell from all the pockets of water and um, where we're at actually has about a 10 foot variation in tide. Actually, I think the sign said 12, uh, but you can look over here on the rocks and see how high up it goes. So in a high tide, all of these rocks that I'm standing on right here, these are all underwater. It also reeks something bad over here, but uh, maybe there's a dead whale or something I don't know um, but uh, this is kind of a really cool little cove with uh, rocks and uh, coniferous forests on either side So down below me here is Thunder Hole. I came up here to talk about it because it's a little touristy down there. So there's a little cave that has developed up there. And as the tide comes in and out, and as the waves come in and out, it fills up the cave, and bottlenecks in, and smashes against the wall really loud. So right now it's low tide, and so it's not super loud, but it still does have a little bit of a thunderclap. Here, have a look.
We're about halfway through the park now and I'm actually wrapping up the first loop and I want to hit the second loop because I want to get down and see a lighthouse that's uh, at the bottom uh, corner of the place. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, overall this place is really nice. There's a lot of good scenery, particularly a lot of oceanside cliffs. Uh, there's a sandy beach, just all sorts of things. A reminder though too, um, Avoid your national parks on the weekends. It's Monday and it's overcrowded here. Now it is the very beginning of summer. I think many schools are probably just wrapping up. Uh, maybe some of them are off, which explains a larger number of people out here right now. Um, but there are a lot of people. There are a lot of cars. There are a lot of, there's difficulty finding parking spaces. So just Keep that in mind if you're going to national parks. Plan it around times that they're generally not busy. Weekdays are always better than weekends. Hey, winter time is better than the summertime because school sessions and things like that. But anyway, um, I hope you're enjoying this so far and uh, we'll see what else we see down the road. So I've left the main loop of Acadia and I am now over at Bass Harbor and this is the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse. You'll hear the bells in the distance as well indicating we're close to the shorelines. Well uh, being here next to a lighthouse reminds me of an old joke I read from Reader's Digest many many years ago. There's this guy he's out on the sea and he sees the light in the distance calls ahead on the radio and he says, I see you in the distance, please make a heading 15 degrees to the left. And uh, the voice comes back and says, I see you as well, please make a 15 degrees to your right. Oh, this guy's like, he's getting mad. He's like, excuse me, I'm a commander on my ship. I want you to go left 15 degrees. Yeah, the guy says, well, I'm a seaman third class. I want you to go right 15 degrees. The guy gets all irate. He jumps on that thing. He says, I'm a battleship rear 15 degrees. Guy says, I'm a lighthouse. It's your call. So there you have it, guys. Um, make sure you always know what's ahead of you, even if that means where you're going down the road in your van life. That's the thing to realize. So this will be the last hike we do down here in Acadia. This is um, Ship Harbor hike. It's about a mile and a half, very easy. And uh, there'll be some ocean pools at the end. Um, but yeah, I've got a chance to see a lot of the park. Uh, the only part that I really missed that I wanted to do is it was very poorly labeled, so I missed it. And to go back and hit it would require going back around on a 20 mile one way loop again. like. Nah, not going to do that. I was thinking Ewok might jump out at any given moment. <laughs> this does kind of look like Endor, doesn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed our trip through Acadia as much as I did. It's a wonderful, peaceful place. Nice to be somewhere where you get out there, you can see the coniferous forests, you can see the ocean, beautiful rocky cliffs. Good to see water on the ground. I mean, most of the national parks we've been to so far, there's been a shocking lack of water. Um, but this place is just beautiful. Definitely worth the taking of the trip. Um, right now I'm over in the uh, lighthouse area in the um, 
uh, southeastern corner as opposed to the giant main loop but it's worth hitting all of it and uh, you look at the maps it's actually not all that big I think total I spent a grand total of like two maybe two and a half hours driving uh, most of the rest of my time has just been walking hiking and taking pictures and such absolutely worth going to so if you are find yourself in Maine do yourself a favor and go to Acadia well, let me know how you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Hit that notification bell. Share this video far and wide. And we will see you a little bit further down the road.